Well, I was going to start to work in my altered book, and I thought maybe somebody might want to play along with me. So, um, I was looking through some images that I have and decided that I was going to put a few of them altered book. Now, I just started this one. It's brand new for me. And the reason why I'm working in this one is the name of it is The Pride of the Peacock. And those of you that follow me, you know that I really like peacocks and the colors and the peacocks and everything. Now, I like the title. The book was a very, very boring brown. So I just took some metallic paint and just threw it there on top just, just for now so that I at least have some kind of uh, inspiration when I look at it. I look at this color instead of this. <laughs> Pretty boring. <laughs> Well, anyway, a while back, I got some happy mail from Heidi Richards, and she sent me such beautiful, beautiful stuff. She knew exactly my taste. You know, she knows I like um, Asian. She sent me some fabrics. She knows that I like the peacocks, and she sent me some, you know, uh, papers that really go with that look. And then she knows... I had this affinity for in, in the elephants, you know, like the in, from India and all that that goes around that. So she sent me some beautiful stuff for that too. So um, what I did is she had she had included this picture from Somerset and. And I'm going to use it somehow in this book because everything in here, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be peacocks, but the colors of peacocks or whatever I just interpret, <laughs> it's my book. <laughs> but I am trying to stay with that theme, either the colors of peacocks or peacocks themselves. And for some reason, when I saw this picture here, hey, Melody. For some reason, when I saw this particular picture, um, I saw later on after I put it in the book, bringing in some shape or another, um, some kind of peacock feathers or something, whether they're drawn or whatever. But I just saw peacock feathers coming out of her head somehow. So I thought I'd put her on one of the pages. And then this woman, for some reason, she just spoke to me too. I don't know. It's just the colors. I'm not really sure, but we're going with it. So with this one, what I want to do is I want to do a image transfer. Hi, Dan. I want to do, an, oh, I've done a couple of, I forgot. I've done a little bit in here. This comes also from some happy mail that somebody had sent me. Um, I believe this was from Janet. And she has these beautiful colors, and it, it came out about this far, so I had to cut it, unfortunately. But um, anyway, it's just beautiful. And then in here, I used the same metallic paint that I used on the outside, and I put that in here. And then um, some of that I had to cut off of this is this piece right here. And then she had included you know, some other things. This is leather and um, she just, she makes beautiful, beautiful things. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and turn that into a tag to put there. And I just left, you know, the original little library pocket. So, and then I had done one other page in here, two page spread. And this also is Almost everything in here has been given to me, you know, like through swaps or happy mail or whatever. And so this also was a tag that was given to me and this too. So I took some pieces of paper that had, you know, some of these colors in them. And I have down here was um, 
a jelly print that I put down and then pieces of scraps of different papers over here and then just kind of covered it up and you know I'm not sure if I'm going to put some more stuff on here or not hi Jen hi Annette so um so this you know with my books I never call them done because then I see something I get inspired and then I want to put it on there so at least the backdrop you know is ready on this page so what I really want to do is um I want to transfer this onto here and because I want to see once I put the transfer, you know, how much of the writing comes through. And then after that, I'll decide what I'm going to do, depending on how good or how bad <laughs> the transfer is, because, you know, they don't always work. I mean, let's let's be honest here. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. So um, now the question becomes, can I obviously, she's going to go down like this. So she's going to be facing that way. So I need to determine if I want her on this page looking over there or I want her here looking that way. And I think if I'm going to put anything on her head, she needs to be over here. So that if I do the peacock feathers or whatever it is I want to do, there's room on this side. If I put her here, well, there's no room. So that answers that question. She's got to go on this side. All right. So, and then I need to know if I want her toward the top of the page or more toward the bottom. And again, because I want to work with some kind of a headdress, I need to bring her a little further down. So let's just cut this right here. And then I'm going to tear here because I don't want the transfer itself to, um, you know, be straight and stark. And same, let's see, I don't know if I want to bring this to the, no, I'm going to have to, this has got to be torn too. I might save this for to use it on the other side of the page. All right. Now, remembering it's got to go this way. And I think, okay, I think that'll work like that. Now, when it comes to doing transfers, you know, there's a lot of different things you can use. You can use Mod Podge. I've used that. And it works just fine. The only thing with that is you have to let it, in my experience, you have to let it totally dry back and lift off this paper or else too much of the ink comes off with it. So uh, because I'm impatient and after I put this down, I'm going to work on one page. And then when I'm halfway done with that, Hopefully, this is enough dry that we can lift that up. So, to do that, um, I use fluid matte medium. This one um, allows you to pick it up before it's dry. I don't know the difference. I don't know, you know, chemically why, but, <laughs> but whatever's in here, it picks up the ink more quickly and allows you to remove them while it's still you know damp all right so that's what i'm going to use tonight on this because i'm impatient and lazy i don't want to wait till tomorrow 
oops, and it looks like this is all stuck. Well, better stuck on here than on the lid. All right, let me get a brush. It was wet, so I got to dry it off a little bit. Oh, is it doing it again, you guys? Are the aliens on my... <laughs> Are the aliens attacking? Oh, they are. Oh, dear. See, what's odd about that is the person that is streaming, like me, obviously, we can't see anything. I can't see at all anything that's going wrong. But I know that other streamers that I've been watching, they it's all crazy time. Um, and it goes and it comes. And sometimes this green bar is along the bottom. And then other times it's these, like these flashing lights. And it's like, oh, my goodness. It gets very annoying. Um, let me know if it like gets too crazy and, you know, I'll just I'll just shut it down because it's very annoying to you guys watching it. I can always just uh, film it and then um, show it later. Not live streaming. If you guys know what I mean. So keep me informed. Oh, you got the green bar. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the other streams that I watch, <laughs> we, we, we're saying that it's aliens. It's never happened on mine. I was like bragging, you know, to the other ladies. Like, I don't know what you guys are doing wrong. Mine never does it. Hello. Don't. Don't say never. <laughs> and then my voice is going to get crazy. And then you're going to see three screens and then two screens. It gets crazy. And I wouldn't want to watch it. So you guys keep me informed. Okay, so I'm putting a coat of that medium on the page. And then I'm also going to put, whoops, wrong side. Uh-oh, see, I'm thinking like I'm gluing. No, no, and no. That was bad. Bad. I think the aliens have taken over on me. Put it on this side because obviously you're trying to transfer. Hello. And then, just for good measure, put a little bit more on here. Make sure we get good contact. Okay. Now I've got all of this lumpy stuff here. Let me put something there so I can get some. A good base to make sure I have contact. It's cardboard. Because if you don't make contact, well, then obviously the ink isn't going to adhere to the page so it's important that you try to make as much contact as possible and I've just used an inkjet printer I've used them before a lot of people will say it only works with laser but um, you know it may not come out perfect with the inkjet but I have used it and I'm perfectly okay with how 
the transfer comes out. So, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so we'll leave that for a few minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I was looking for through some of the things that um, Heidi put in in the box, and I found some of these, of course, there's a peacock, but I found these papers that to me were, you know, colors that, you know, make me feel happy. <laughs> so I thought I would use this as a backdrop for something. I don't know what I'm going to do, what I'll do with the page, but those did look interesting. And I was just going to get ready to um, to look through this that she sent, too, see if there was other things in here that I could use. I'm sure there is. But look at this, all this yummy stuff. Now, this is some cool paper. Oh, she thought maybe I could do some some of my um, eco dyeing with that, which is true. Oh, and the little elephants that she knows I love. Oh, okay. Let's see what else we might be able to put in there. Ooh, this is cool. Hmm, really cool. Um, more. I got to start an elephant altered art book. <laughs> So I can put my elephants in there. Look at that. How cute. Oh, look. Oh. Look. Oh, I'm going to have to get a big book for my elephant book. I can tell that already. <laughs> yeah, it shows, it shows them with a hunting spear that they're going to attack the elephant. So she says, maybe you can cover up the, the spears. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a more pleasant picture. <laughs> I know I was looking through some of my books the other day because I wanted to do a um, like a safari, you know, African, but the kind that, you know, is more obviously photographic. And I had some pretty cool older books that had the theme of Africa. I was looking at the pictures and there's none in there I can use because it's during the colonial times and it just shows them, you know, making all of the Africans you know, their, their property and working for them and basically being their slaves in their own country. So every picture, you know, is not a happy picture, even though there's parts of it. Ooh, see, I love black and white. Oh, these are just like my favorite types of things. I don't know why. And she knows that I'm in my head, I'm putting together a journal that has to do with openings and doorways, whether they're gates or they're arches or they're really doors or whatever. And this is like just perfect. Look at that. And I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been mulling that thing around in my head, the door thing. Um, it's got to be over a year. I started talking about it. Together. It's been over a year that I've been talking about it, and I don't know why I can't get it. Oh, look at that. I don't know why I can't get it from my head um, onto the paper. I don't I don't know what the mental block is, but it must be a mental block. Hi, Peg. Um, it's got to be a mental block. I mean, how difficult. Oh. She knows I love all this Asian stuff and like at these colors and the come. Oh dear. Oh dear. I got a lot of work ahead of me. Fun work. Not work work. Fun work. 
anyway, back to the doors. I don't know why. I don't know what my mental hang up is about just starting it. <laughs> like, for instance, look, I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking about it and I'm always collecting things. Look, I've already got my door hinges, you know, to incorporate it into my journal. Um, I have my wood. If I want to make my covers out of wood, I have my Luan, which is, you know, thinner wood that I'm able to cut easily. I've got that. Uh, oh, 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 it's not a peacock, but it should the right colors. And this could be like the peacock goddess. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, but see, I can't even stay focused talking about the doors, let alone getting the door journal going. So, ooh, now see, look at these colors. Hello. Hello. Are the aliens still with us or are they gone? <laughs> Let me know, ladies. Okay, this is really pretty. Look at that color. Okay, that's got to go in there somewhere. Oh, that almost looks like a feather. Is that just me or does that look like a feather, ladies? Okay. Did I get some yummy stuff or what? They're gone for now? Okay. Well, it's not saying nothing because he might come back. Oh, look at the kitty. Oh, he's crying. The mouse got away. Oh. Oh, she knows I love bugs. This girl pays attention because I really don't say it, you know, say it very often what my favorite stuff is. But she sure knows. And she knows I always gravitate toward flowers and gardens and And look, she knows I love these flowers. And look at them, they're right there. Isn't that beautiful? She's got cool. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> look, 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 look. Okay, here we go. Aw. And I love bugs. There's my bugs. Oh, look at the bugs. <laughs> I know some of you ladies can't stand bugs. I mean, I don't want bugs in my house, and I don't go looking around the yard to pick up bugs. But, you know, I don't step on them, and I don't kill them, and I don't spray them. And for some reason, I just like them in my journals. I don't know. I mean, if he's crawling on me, I'd probably slap him dead. But, <laughs> but you know, if he knows his space, and I know my space, and... We can live together. Okay, so what did we get? Okay, we got some papers. We got some papers, and I took so long, I bet you we could check that transfer. And I bet you we could there. Yeah, I'm going to do some of, I've got a whole bunch of cool leaves because, you know, it's fall and all these leaves change and they're on the ground and we have a lot of them in our, in our own yard. And then I go to the parking lots. <laughs> I found a new one that I like. Well, my favorite parking lots for, you know, appropriating uh, leaves is Home Depot and and Lowe's, and now I cruised by the local hospital a couple of well, a couple of weeks ago, and all their trees were turning these beautiful colors, and I had never really 
you know, paid attention before. And I go, how did I miss all of these beautiful leaves? So now I've got another stop, which is the hospital. So I got a lot of stuff to choose from. Okay, so, okay, so we're going to work with, you know, some of these somehow <laughs> on these pages here. But before we do that, let's go sneak over here on our transfer and see what's going on. Because remember, theoretically, with this, this particular stuff, and if you just got here, I used the um, fluid map medium. I've used it before. And you don't have to totally let it dry. But let's see. Well, there is a lot stained there. Can you can you ladies see that? Yeah, you can. Yes, test. Here's the test. If I can remember what all that looked like there. <laughs> okay, so it was. It's sort of like this. So it would be kind of hit and miss of color. See right there. And see what you do is, you know, you have to pull this up. And then, of course, you come back, you know, and you have to continue taking the paper out. And hopefully, if it's done correctly, which I can see right here, it's not totally sticking. But it might be because it was the edge. Um, I'm going to leave it. Well, let's dry it a little bit. You don't mind noise, right? Great. Yeah. We have the technology. What are we doing whining about it? We have technology. Use it. Okay. All right. Let's just help it a tiny bit. Because remember, in theory, this one does not have to dry all the way. So let's just help it a little bit. The aliens are back. Oh. I don't know what YouTube is doing to us. I'm going to open up another window. Hold on. I'm going to open up another window here on my computer so I can see what you guys are seeing. I hope I don't lose you. <laughs> okay. How do I find myself? Oh, here I am. <laughs> Oops, let me turn the volume off. Oh, I see them. They're they're just like the ones that were at Jessica. I bet you Jessica gave them my address. It's horrible. See, now you got the double one, like I was saying before. Yeah, it is it is YouTube for sure. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy time. <laughs> okay, let me find where let me let me get back to. So okay. All right. I'm sorry, ladies. I wish there was something that we could do with YouTube. And it was funny because this has been going on for maybe at least two weeks and it hadn't done it you know on my channel so you know i was like you know all braggy hey it doesn't happen to me <laughs> and then and then they land and then they landed oh gosh okay maybe i dried it too much I'm going to have to do the water on it <laughs> because the point is if, they, if it isn't totally dry, then you can just lift it 
And I think I just defeated the purpose by drying it too much. <laughs> Figures. So now I'm going to have to wet it. Yep, I dried it too much. Don't do what I do. Well, if it was Mod Podge, this is a good thing to do. Dry it all the way. But um, the whole point of this was <laughs> that you don't have to. Well, it's still wet here, so it's coming up on this side. Oops, it's lifting off the whole page. Well, see, it's good to watch what not to do. If everything went right, then I think that'd be discouraging for you guys. Because <laughs> we all know it doesn't go right for us all the time. And we don't want to think we're the only one. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to wet it. At least some of the ink is stained, so that's good. And the fact that I just used an inkjet, there's a lot of ink stain. Because I know a lot of people say, don't use the inkjet. Well, I'm sorry. That's all I have. Okay, so let me, give me a second. I'm going to get a little bit of little clean water and we'll do our thing. It helps when you can find a container. <laughs> yes, it does help when you can find a container that's actually empty. Okay, let me get my trash can over here. I just swept up all my floors today and I don't want to. You should have seen all the paper that was down there. Oh my gosh. For the past two days, I didn't sweep. Sorry, Peg. I know. It's very irritating. Very irritating. Zoe, I'm doing a um, image transfer. And what you do is you take an image and you put down some kind of adhesive onto the paper, whether it's Mod Podge or some kind of glue. In this case, I used some matte medium. And then in theory, what happens is the ink of the printed page stays on here and with the water, you are removing, hopefully, the paper. 
and most of your ink should stay, which allows your image to stay. But because just the ink is going down, whatever is behind the image, in this case, it's just a book page, comes through. And it just gives a nice effect. And there's places that it doesn't work. There's places that it does. So it gives it a very old world look. And it's kind of a surprise every time you do it. Because sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so we will see. So now basically what you do is you dampen the paper and you don't want to wet it too much because, you know, you don't want to get too far. So you do it in layers. You know, paper has quite a few layers to it. So you get the top layers off. By the time you get to the top of the page, you know, this is, you know, getting drier and then you can work on the next layers. And then you have to know when to quit because you can go too far and then you start removing the actual paper that the glue, I mean, that the ink, you know, has attached itself to and you don't want to do that. Then it'll just bring up the whole picture. So. And like I say, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it depends on the kind of paper you're using. It depends on the substrate you're using, you know, the type of paper that the book page or whatever it is that you're trying to attach it to. Um, you can ask me whatever you want. That's fine. Any questions? I just have to remember to look up. <laughs> I wish I could hear you guys. It would be so much easier. Okay, this is coming out pretty good, actually. A lot of the color is staying. I think I'll be happy with this. So remember, you can do this with your own printer. Because this is not laser print. Of course, the laser print is probably better, but um, hey, if you don't have it, remember, work with what you have. Do any of you use silicone stamps? If so, oh, oh, yeah. Well, there are repositional sprays and, sta and, um, and tapes that I know some of the ladies use. And you can spray that either on your stamp or on your block. And they stay pretty good. And then um, you can remove them when you're done. And um, if you put it on your block, then, you know, you can use it with the other stamps. And I've seen them use that. And there's also this contact 
Uh, I wish I could remember what it was. Hold on, it's, it'll come to me. There's another thing you can use. Yeah. It, do you follow Cat Hand? She um. She was talking about repositioning stamps. If you go to her, if you go and see her um video, she talks about. I wish I could remember what it was. It's something very inexpensive, something that's used for something else. <laughs> If any of you ladies remember what that is, chime in. Because I like to make my own stamps and um, just out of foam. And I thought that'd be pretty cool if I had to use it on a block. Then I could just put that back there. Yes, excuse me, cat hand, yes, yeah, C-A-T. And she did that not that long ago. She was talking about it maybe within the past month, I guess. Time flies by, though. It might have been more than a month, but not more than two months. It wasn't that much longer. Look, ladies, this is work in. I am so excited. And see here, because it was lighter, her face, um, so the ink, you know, obviously isn't that dark. So you can see the, the, um, the words through her face. And that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, that can be pretty annoying when you're trying to snap and then flop, those things fall off. But there's just a lot of different things you can do, and they're, it's not expensive. But, you know, the, um, you know, the way to make them stay. So it can be resolved. If I think of it before the night's over, which I probably won't, what she used. It was a repositioning. I don't know why I keep thinking it has something to do with either shelves or windows or something. And you can get it by the roll and it's very inexpensive. And then she just cuts pieces. But there's also a spray. So like the same thing, the same principle, like when you do stencils, remember the old days when you did stencils on the walls, <laughs> but that product is still used for various things. And I think it, it's still sold as, you know, holding down stencils. And obviously, you know, your stencils isn't going to be permanent. So it's just lightweight glue so that you can, you know, reposition your stencil. And so that same principle would apply to your stamps. I like how this is turning out, people. I like when something works. I wish YouTube worked. Someone was saying that they made a, you know, it made it, YouTube made it easier to live stream. You know, they have a new, a new way. And um, because it's easier that more people are live streaming. And maybe, you know, we're just bombarding their system and they weren't ready for it. And it's just going crazy. Oh, 
Oh, you got a jelly plate. Oh, how exciting. That is so fun. Now doing the transfers on that jelly plate is fun. It takes, you know, they don't all work and it takes a lot of practice, but that is really fun. I was doing that last week. I hadn't done it in a while. And you got to figure out what kind of pages to use on that, too. Not all ink works. Oh, you were watching. <laughs> well, then you saw they did not all work. <laughs> Look how good this is turning out. At least I'm happy with it. Yay. So what's the latest kind of technique that you guys are are working on that you're trying to something new that you're trying or something new you you're afraid to try? I always like to know what other people are doing. Because if you guys, you know, those that don't do videos, we don't know what you guys are up to. You might have some cool ideas that we want to steal. I mean, borrow. <laughs> Oh, you've been doing it with the placemat? I know. You know, there's a, um, you can get also, it's, it's rather inexpensive. You can get gasket material. You can get it by the piece and you can get it by the foot. And it's a very, very, very thin membrane that is it's kind of uh it's rubbery because it's meant to be used with plumbing the big sheets um like when they're building a, um putting in showers that are the freestanding kind where they're going to put tile on the floor as opposed to you know a prefabricated pan um they bring in these sheets of this plastic not plastic it's more rubber i keep saying plastic it's more like a rubber and it sits on the on the floor of of where they're going to put the tile by the drain they put it on the whole surface and so it's pliable and it's very durable and it works really good as a plate also and um, 
And like I say, not very expensive. You can get a, you know, a square the size of a jelly plate for probably a couple of bucks. And if you want a bigger piece, then like I say, they sell it by the foot. I don't remember what it was, but it was not expensive at all. I have some somewhere. <laughs> Hey, that's all any of us do. I don't think there's an inventive idea out there. People may put their little twist on it, but there's nothing new. <laughs> there is nothing new out there. So when people get all high on the horse and, you know, and they say, and they start commenting and, you know, belittling people and saying, oh, that's so-and-so's idea. No, it wasn't their idea. That's the first person you saw doing it, but it's not their idea. That's how I think the cool stuff happens, you know, with with the arts is when you you get inspired by somebody doing something and then you just put your little take on it and it you know, it's like, wow, I wish I had thought of that. I've been doing this for how long and I never thought of doing that. Okay. See right here, the ink either didn't attach or I rubbed it too long and, um, you know, it's gone. It's probably my fault. I got carried away. How are the aliens doing? Well, I am making a mess on my floor. <laughs> they got tired. <laughs> um, this particular image, I made a copy. It came from um, Somerset Studio Magazine. And I made a copy with my um, just my regular inkjet printer see what happens with this is this I'm just saying this I don't know for sure the fact that this is glossy and you know it's printed so well um, it's hard to lift up this ink unless you literally glue the whole page down and then try to lift it up um, because it's so embedded in the ink I mean in the paper but 
in our, you know, in our prints, they're cheap and the ink is sitting on top. And, um, and so it makes it easier for the ink to attach itself to the page. Um, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I could be 100% wrong, but I know that when you try to use the glossy ones, you really have to let them completely dry um, till they're bone dry, and then they don't always work. It depends on the magazine and the ink and the paper and depends on a lot of things. But if you make a copy, it works. And I'm just thinking it's because of the inferior quality of the print allows the print to be lifted. But that's just me talking. <laughs> Don't quote me. Rosemary said, Okay, this is looking pretty cool. I don't know if I want to mess with it anymore. Because you know, look, see. <laughs> so, um, I might just leave this alone. You see, there's a little bit of papers right there, but that is already the book. So I got to leave that alone. They've gone. Yay! For a while. Okay, now if you guys try this, don't get discouraged because as this dries, there's going to be a white haze over it, you know, and what that is, is when it's drying, the paper that still needs to be removed, that is sitting on top of the ink, um, will expose itself that way because you'll, you'll see it once it's dry. Then all you have to do is come back again with a little bit of water and gently, because you know, you've probably taken several layers off already. And you just come back and you gently go over those light areas and until it, you know, it looks dark and you're exposing the ink. And you might have to do that a couple of times. Be patient. Don't get discouraged. And then after... You think you've taken up all, uh, an, you know, all the paper that you can. Then you can do one of several things to deepen the colors on your page. And one of them is you could put, you know, Mod Podge or Matte Medium over it and it will... Um, enhance the color, you know, how with most things it makes it look a little, a little richer. Or you can put some wax on it, dry wax, and it'll do the same, same thing. I actually like to use the wax more than I do the the matte mediums when I'm working in a book because as you know if you've done this before you start putting a lot of that matte medium they start pages start sticking to each other and not good so the wax serves two purposes it won't allow it to stick to the other page and it enriches the the print that you have. See, this stuff just keeps coming off. I haven't not taken the ink off yet. That's just all paper.
a lot of paper. Split screen, they're back. They're back. Oh boy. I think it's a ploy by YouTube because the next thing they're going to do, they're going to say, oh, you know, we can't do this anymore. You're going to have to pay so that we can put new programming so that you can live stream without the aliens. But it'll cost you nine, nine, nine a month to stream without the aliens. How much you want to get? A, you know, guess that that's their ploy. And those that make their money off of YouTube, whether it's through videos, bills, or whatever, well, they're going to pay their $9.99, right? Better that than people turning them off because of the aliens. Again, this is just my theory. I guess you noticed I have lots of theories. <laughs> Does that mean I'm into conspiracies? I don't think so. Because this sounds pretty logical to me. I mean, we are talking about aliens, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I well, I know it, Karen. I, I'll, I'll admit, sometime I am the weird one. No, it's YouTube messing with us. They're doing it with all the live streaming. I'm telling you, that's because they're going to want us to pay. I know it. When you get that email in your box, if you're a YouTuber... You're going to say, oh, Rosemary told me they were going to start charging us to live stream. Holy moly. I think this came out kind of cool. What do you guys think? Karen, on purpose? I think they are. Whoops. What did I do? I just moved something. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, dear. Stop it. Okay. All right. For some reason, okay, now on my webcam, I, I've gone inside of the computer. I've looked everywhere, and I cannot find where I can turn off the autofocus. I don't know if it's because I have a cheap webcam and it doesn't give me the option. I don't know, but it drives me crazy. Okay. Bring up, yes, I can. I can do that. Oops. Is it focusing? I think so. And see, you can see there the lettering from the page because this is the lightest part of the image, and so you can see through it. I think it looks pretty cool. And then as you can see right there, I rubbed too much. So some of the ink came off right there. And I can tell there's still some right here because I can feel it. But I'm going to let it dry first. And then over here, I haven't taken it all off either. Because you can see it's starting to get light. So there's still paper there. I can feel that there's still paper right here. The rest feels pretty good. Well, yeah, there's there's still enough paper there. So as it dries, um, we'll see it. So hold on. Let me get my tool. Let me get um, our technology. Watch your ears. Well, it's not too bad. I thought we're going to be lighter places. Yeah. 
most of that came off. I'm shocked. Night, Deb. Okay. A little warped from the moisture. But no, most of it came off, but I can still feel it. I can still feel the paper right here for some reason. Okay, now the wax that I put on it, it's any kind of, um, you know, like furniture, wood wax, but the, the dry kind, not the spray kind. Hey, Beth. I just did a transfer, Beth, and it actually worked. With my um, inkjet, and I didn't even like let it dry completely. I used my fluid matte medium that usually allows me to lift it before it dries, and it worked. I'm so excited. I'm working on my peacock art journal, and this lady is just saying put some peacocks for my headdress. Anyway, let me get the wax so you can see what I'm talking about. Hold on. I know it's here. Just let me find it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's here in front of my face and I don't see it. Oh yeah, here it is. I knew it was in front of my face. And this is the wax, Daddy Vans. Um, you can get it online. You can get it some um, Lowe's has it sometimes. And um, Amazon has it. I can't remember what it costs. I mean, it's a little pricey, you know, like maybe what? I don't know. Well, I wish I could remember. It's under $15. But it lasts forever. I've only bought one. I've never bought another one. And look, so um, don't, don't get, you know, scared by the price because um, you'll probably never have to buy another one if you only use it, you know, for your art. Now, if you go around using it on your furniture, well, that's another story. But um, okay. And I just put a little bit, you know, on a soft cloth or a napkin. And because it's, you know, beeswax, it's not sticky. And you can see how it enriches the color because it, um, it makes whatever pulp I've left behind <coughs> Excuse me, it makes it translucent. Yeah, if I wasn't impatient, you know, I'd wait for this to totally dry and maybe take some more of that pulp off. But I'm not patient. But even if you were patient and you took the rest of the pulp off, I would still do this after you're all done. Yay! Yes, this is perfect for Mod Podge. And yes, exactly. This is where I heard about this too. It's from Shannon. I never heard about this until... I saw her using it. <clears throat> it 
Every time I say Daddy Vans, I hear her and her little bing. <laughs> I can't do it like, you know, how she does it. But All right. So as far as the transfer is concerned, this puppy is done. It came out pretty cool. Don't you guys think? There you go. <laughs> yes, she does. She's having a great sale. Oh, you finished your shopping? <laughs> well, somebody needs to go shopping and get those little, those little mini, mini journals I made. I made a whole bunch of them because I just went crazy. So now you got to, people got to go over there and buy them from me. Because there's nothing I can do with all those little mini things. They were so fun and cute to make. But now i got to get rid of them. <laughs> now i got to get rid of them. Okay. Okay. This is cool. I like how this came out. And so, let's see. What? Was I going to do this? Well, I had prepared a couple of pages. Maybe this is it. These right here, yeah. I think I'll go ahead and put some of this paper down. Just so. Just so. Just because. Although some of this paper is kind of hard. When I say hard, I mean it's kind of thick. See, these are thinner papers. This works better. This is more like cardstock. I don't think I want to use that. So is that. Oh, we have this. Oh, yes. I forgot. Hello. And then, but this is kind of hard too. But this will work. This will work. Let's play with this. Let's put these down. And if you weren't here at the beginning, I am doing a um, mixed media, what do you call it? Long-winded mixed media art, altered art book, whatever. And the theme is peacocks, whether literally peacocks or the color of peacocks. And um, and that's what we're doing. All right. So let's put this page down. And because there is a gap on this book here, I think what I'll do is I'll straddle that page across here. So we'll reinforce it. All right, and then put it down in that crease. And all these lovely papers came from Heidi Richards, Happy Mail, And then the other day, well, it's been already probably, how long has it been? Oh, time goes by too fast. It might have been already a month. 
Weeks go by so quickly, I can't believe it. Years almost over. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess it was about a month ago, I went to the public library. They have a sale three times a year. And look what I got for a dollar. Altered books. <laughs> And it's got a bunch of cool ideas of what to do with the altered books. So I was thinking I'd go step by step and, you know, maybe try each one and put it in this journal and see, you know, which um, which technique I like the best. Rosemary. Oh. oh, OK. You have a good night. And thank you for coming around. I'm glad you were able to finally catch us live. Have fun with your jelly plate. I know you will. Okay, let me look here. I haven't been looking. Um, how did you decide to use Mod Podge rather than a glue stick? Um, you know, I just go back and forth. No real reason to tell you the truth. Um, on this other page, I, I used um, a uh, glue stick to put the pages together because I have like three or four pages here. Um, I have no idea. That's a good question. I just I just grabbed it. <laughs> I didn't honestly. I didn't even think about it. <clears throat> so I can't even tell you why I decided to do it because I use them both interchangeably. Is that a word? No, I don't think so. Um, but you know what I mean. Let's put this over here. Just because. Hey, Patricia. What year is that book? Let me check. Let's see. Oops. All right. Don't want to get all crazy with the camera. This book is... Is it on this page? I don't think so. Is it on this page? I don't think so. Hey, I gotta have a date. Maybe they don't. products that they had in here it made me think it was kind of an older book but isn't that weird they don't have a date there's got to be a date all books have a date i must be, oh i must i'm gonna say i must be blind as a bat here it is 2004 so it's old i mean as far as products are concerned, you know, 14 years old. So a lot of different products. I was I was judging it by the glues that they were using. And there were some obvious glues that they had left out on the list. And Liquitex doesn't even, their glue packaging isn't even that color anymore. And some of these companies, they're out of business. And they had the old-fashioned punch instead of a crocodile. <laughs> Little things like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me glue this, finish gluing this page down, and I'll set that aside to dry, and then we'll go through that book together. Because it's got some cool stuff. Just let me glue this down first.
Can you see peacocks? I see peacocks. Yay, peacocks. I do. We have to find some more, some more papers to go in here. Oh, you think you have the book? Yeah, it's an oldie but goodie, I would say. All right, now, I don't think this goes with that anymore. I thought it did at the beginning, but I don't think it does now. And like I said, these are kind of, well, maybe if I put small strips, they're kind of hard. Let's just go for it. I like the colors. I don't want Heidi's papers to get lonely because I separate them. You know how that goes. See, it's not, that's what I don't like about the cardstock. It, um, it tends to want to lift. Because it is stiff. We'll make it stay. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have used that. But we'll live with it. I'm just not going to put any more. See, I don't like it. Okay. Hold on. Don't fight it. Don't do anything you don't want to do. I don't want to do this. Okay. <laughs> don't talk yourself into things. Don't let other people talk you into things. Now, the worst person is yourself. Don't let yourself talk yourself into stuff. Hold on, because I got papers over here I can use. You know, that is the worst thing we do. We talk ourselves into things that we don't want to do. We rationalize things. I rationalize that I need to keep Heidi's papers together. Now, how dumb is that? Okay. See, her papers want new friends. And they're going to get new friends. Ta da! New friends. We can all use a new friend. And our new friends do not have to look like us. They can look different. Why? Because it makes it prettier. Okay. And then we'll put something like this over here. Hmm. 
over here. I'm liking this page because I like color. Very sticky job, but fun. All right, and we got one little spot down here. Slippery. Okay. Now this all has to dry. What a mess. But I like it. My kind of mess. Yay! All right, let me put this over here and let me get that book out. Make sure I don't have a bunch of glue. The lid and the mod pod. 
Okay, so here's the book. And I think it'd be pretty cool to at least attempt each one. <laughs> okay, let's get to the good part. Let's get to the good part. All right, here's one where it shows um, the little boxes that come out the side of your book. Those are cute. I've done that before. All right, we already saw that old fashioned stuff. And of course, you know, most of us have unusual collections like this in a drawer somewhere and then the kind of books to select to alter the best ones I think you know some people disagree but the sewn ones so they'll stick in as opposed to the glued ones because once you start bending and stretching and wetting and putting all this um, bulk and material on there they'll tend to separate even the sewn ones will separate a little bit, but if they're just glued, they'll really separate. So you got to think about that. And then they show here taking out pages, which I've done that on that book already. And then here's just a cute little spread. where they've just put a picture and some text and then they've done some, a wash over it. And then here they break it down how they did it. They put the wash on the page and they find a picture and they build upon that picture. Um, and these are just variations of that technique that I just showed you on the other page. Okay, this one shows that you can make two pockets on either side. And how to make those, you just simply fold them up or down and make some holes on the sides where you can string whatever it is you want to string. You can put ribbon or fabric or lace or whatever, and you create these pockets. And here is just a variation of those pockets. Here, instead of just turning them down, she turned them down and turned them up. And here's showing different ways that you can punch holes and run your ribbons and different things through. Here shows you how to cut a door. So you can cut a little flap and have it open. And you can put something underneath. Those are cute to me. And here's just a few variations of that. And this is for cutting a window. Kind of the same principle of the door. Here they are putting some plastic to give the illusion of the window. And here's some other ones, the same technique. Here they put some mesh or some screen instead of the plastic. That's cute. And here they're just showing you how to make tags. 
and then creating little spots on your page to put the tags in. Hey Vicki, um, this is a book, Altered Book Workshop. I got this uh, for a dollar at the um, library sale last month. So I was had to let some things dry, so I thought we'd look through this Altered Workshop book. Okay, so here they've cut these pages, that there's just about an inch and they're creating a space to put these tags into it. And here shows that folding technique where you can put stuff in the, in the top and in the bottom and they show you how to make those. And then you can put your tags in there. Okay, this one's about adding inserts. And uh, they're punching some holes in the page and what they call an insert. And then attaching it with some kind of a string. And here they're making a little shadow box. They're showing you how to put the pages together and glue them and then cut out you know, the box, the size of what you need and how to finish that up. i got a video where I did that, shows you how to do that. And here is just showing some other variations of that. And this is glazing. So you can put like, um, texture paste or papers or whatever it is you want to put on there to cause a, a little bit of a texture and then you glaze over it and it gives you that look. This one's about adding texture. They're showing here making the texture with the ink. And here's texture just with some crumpled up paper and some sponge and some bubble wrap. And they're doing that with ink. Here they talked about the covers and how you can collage over the covers. And they show you how to prep it by lightly sanding it. And just some more collaging over existing book covers. Here they're making a hole in the cover itself and then putting something behind it. And same thing here. That's cute. <laughs> Creative techniques. Uh-oh, what are we going to do? Oh, words. We must be very creative because we already do words. More words. the drawers. I think we all know more than what we think we do, right ladies? 
If we've been doing this for a while, we could write this book. But then no one would buy it because I only paid a dollar for it at the <laughs> at the used bookstore. <laughs> That's why we're always looking, like I said before at the beginning, there's really no new stuff. We just put our own little twist in it. We try to be innovative. Like there's no new colors. There's there's no new anything. I think that's why we gravitate. I was looking, thinking about it. I was looking at these old stamps. I think that's why we gravitate so much for old stuff. Because... Um, You know, all the new stuff out there, it all looks the same. And the old stuff for our eye just seems to, I mean, for me, just speaking for myself, it seems to have a lot more character. So those are fun things to find. I was going to say that's what we were doing, but this isn't really even a transferring an image gives a, are they transferring it like we just did or not? I don't think so. Or did they? No, they're just putting it on the top. Why are they calling it a transfer? I don't know. Oh, well. Old news. Oh, here they are adding a pop-up. We've done that. Shows you how to put your pop-up in there. Very cool. I love pop-ups. They confuse me. I overthink it and, and I get confused, but I like them. Just other variations on those pop-ups. And that is that is the whole kit and caboodle, people. So see, we know more than we think. <laughs> We know more than we think. Okay, so let's see. It's almost dry. And let's go see what our... Uh, oh, see the transfer. It still looks pretty cool. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so let me catch up and see what you guys are talking about. Let me let me see. Okay, so Vicky has it. Quite a few people have it, I guess. Yeah. It's an excellent book if you've never, you know, if you haven't done anything like this. It's a pretty cool book. Because it gives you a lot of different ideas. And, um, and when you're first starting, it's like, what do I do next? What am I supposed to do? All my pages look the same. Okay. So I like how this came out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I do have this lady. But there's so much color on here already. I almost don't want to do that. Because there's just too much color. I never thought I would say that. <laughs> Rosemary, how can you say that? There's never too much color. There's Miss Peacock. But she'll never stand out in all that color, in all that mess. So I'm going to have to figure this one out. I'm going to have to think about this one. 
Hey, Gloria. So did the so did the craziness leave or all the the Jetsons gone? Are we seeing a clear screen or is it all yucky? Whoops, that one kind of glued together. I know it was pretty bad earlier for you guys. Oops. Saying oops a lot tonight. <laughs> All right. I really like how this page came out. I'm almost not wanting to put anything on it. I may not for a while. I might have to think about this one. It may be already saying what I want it to say. Look at me. I'm a pretty page. Okay. Yeah, I'm really, um, right now, I'm not moved to put anything on it right now, but I may change my mind. So let's just leave that alone. Don't do anything you don't want to do. Remember, don't do anything you don't want to do. All right. So this lady, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but she needs to have the peacock feathers coming down here. That's what I want for her. But I want to do it. I'm going to try and do it with napkins. <laughs> so, um, so if I want the true color, let, well, let me find a napkin first. But if I want the true color, oh, put the peacock on it. Is YouTube is acting up again, Gloria? Oh, are you just asking if it was? Yes, it was doing the same thing here that it was doing over on all those other channels. It hadn't happened to me before. Tonight was my first night. I thought I was going to get away with it, but no. Okay, so hold on. I've got, I think I've got something I can use on that page. Give me a second, lady. Let me find it. It might work. I'm not sure. Whoops. There I go with the oops again. Whoopsies. All right. This might be a stretch. This may be a stretch, but I have this paper. And I know it's brighter than everything there, but it can always get muted down afterwards. Let's see if I cut. Oh, there's two here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Let's see if I somehow cut these out and put them somehow here. <laughs> I haven't thought this through. <laughs> I haven't thought this through, but but let, I'm, just let me play with it for a second. I'm not going to glue it. Because it may not be the look that I want, if you know what I mean. So let's put 
Let's just play with this for a second. Just humor me. Because it just might work. And then if it doesn't, no big deal. Right, right. I knew you'd agree. Hey, Amy. We're just playing around here. Trying to make a peacock lady. Or just the, hey, Debbie. Oh, Debbie, you were here, weren't you? Or you just can't hear? No, you were here already. I just saw your name pop up and go, oh, no, she was here. Okay. All right. I'm looking. You know what I wish I could do? What I should do? What I still might do? <laughs> Wouldn't it look super cool if I went over and made copies of these and then layered? Let's see, I could, oh, 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 oh. I know, oh, is that gonna work? It'll be backwards, hold on. Hold on, people. How do I do that? I was thinking if I go over and make a copy of this and then do the transfer, transfer this onto here, which would still give it that look. Are you following what I'm saying? But of course it's gonna be backwards. So I've got to I've got to line it up the way I want it because I want the feathers to be kind of sort of right there. What's an eye? What? What's an eye, Vicky? What are you talking about? It's an eye. What's an eye? Anyway, back to my plan. What do you guys think? You think it'll work? I think it'll work. I think it'll work. What are we talking about? Oh. Are you getting all Lion King on me or what? All right. I see I'm not going to be getting any cooperation from you guys. So I think I'm just going to do what I want to do. Vicky's over there with conspiracy theories and everything. I don't know. So, I think that's what I'm going to do, even though you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Well, of course, the feathers look like an eye. They always look like an eye. Vicki, is that like a big revelation or what? Okay, I am going to... Yes, I am. Okay. Hold on. Hold everything. Hold everything. If this doesn't work, at least I tried. At least I tried.
And I can't blame anybody but myself. Okay, I have to go make a copy of this. Talk among yourselves, please. Okay, stop talking. <laughs> All right, so following my logic, which it doesn't, it's not always, you know, what it should be. Now, <laughs> has anyone here done the found poetry? I don't know what that is. Tell us all about it, Debbie. We need, we need to know. We need to know. Don't hold anything back. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to work, but we are going to try it. So this is what I'm going to do. We are going to put the transfer on this side. <laughs> and see what happens. I think I probably should paint this black. To give the same look. To have that underneath. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I know I'm talking to myself. That's because we're waiting for Debbie to inform us. Okay, let me get some paint. And I'm just going to put a very light coat so it'll dry. Oh, I don't want this one. Come on, Debbie, don't be a tease. Tell us about it. All right. Ah! <laughs> oh, oopsie. Oopsie. 
See, now I have black paint on me. Good thing I have my painter thing on. Or else I'd be in big trouble. Well, great. It pops up when I don't want to, and it won't come out when I want it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, I've seen that. I haven't done it. I didn't know what it was called. But I've seen that. It sounds very interesting. I got enough books, that's for sure. Oh, I have some exciting news. Okay. So in our town, we're not very progressive. <laughs> we're not very progressive in our town. But there was an opening... Oh, uh, it's a piece of paper I can use. There was an opening um, on the board for waste, waste and something management, which um, here in town. And there's a new guy in charge and he wants to really get on board with recycling in inventive and creative ways because our town does not do that. And so my husband's a very um, go to it kind of guy. So he was reading about that and he says, yeah, they don't because do, he hears me complain that, you know, we don't have any recycle places here. You know, we don't have the places to recycle anything that has to do like with art, like some cities do, you know, the. Um, um, what am I trying to say? It's like supplies, recycling supplies and things like that. And so I had told him what some cities do and how they do it and all that. So he was kind of intrigued with all that. Well, I told him that about a year ago. And then not that long ago, I complained about it again. Like, this darn city, why don't they do something? Blah, blah, blah. All right. So then he hears about that board opening, the position opening up on the board that oversees, um, you know, that department. And so he, he goes, my husband's a type that he just, he goes to the top. So he calls up the head guy that's in charge of the, the whole thing. And says, you know, I understand there's an opening and yada, yada, yada. And, you know, has this big old long-winded conversation. I left the room because I knew it was going to be one of those long ones. And then he comes back and he tells me that um, by the time he finished the conversation with the guy, the guy was all excited. And my husband used me. <laughs> And what we all do as an art community, as an example of um, getting other people in the community excited about recycling through art. And um, I don't know what he told him, but the guy got all excited. He wants to talk to me. He wants Richard to apply for the position on the commission. And um, he even set on the application to use him, who's the guy that does, I think, the hiring, <laughs> I mean, the accepting the position, because it's a voluntary position. Um, I think he's the one that is the one that okays it. And he told him to use him as a reference. <laughs> I'm sitting there laughing. I'm going, oh, my gosh, this is crazy. So I don't know. My husband might be the new recycle king in town. I don't really know. But I just thought it was so funny. <laughs> okay, let's get this dry so we can put the matte medium do the transfer and see if it works.
Okie dokie. All right, so let's put some of this on here. Yeah, Amy, that's what my husband was saying. Oh, but he's already got, because there's a designation. I don't know if it's a national or a state designation, but they, they get, maybe some of you are involved in school system. Teachers are involved, but they have these designations that they're called A schools. Now, we have one that's on our street, and we, I mean, I don't have kids. I don't have grandkids, so I didn't know what an A school meant. I thought it was, you know, like if you're talking about schools, it must be a pretty good school. It's an A school instead of an F school, right? <laughs> That's as much as I know about the school system. Oh, you're an A school. Great. That means you're not an F. But um, that I was wrong. I later found out that a A school, and I may not be explaining this correctly, but basically A is for art. And any subject in the school can be, oh, I did it again. I'm doing the back. Why didn't you guys stop me? Hold on. I have to get a napkin and wipe that off. Hold on again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, back to the story. So an A designation means that um, any subject that the school wants to, it is allowed because of its designation to teach it through art. So, you know, if they're teaching history, they can teach history through some kind of an art activity, um, whatever subject it is. And, you know, nowadays, you know, so many schools are just like removing the arts altogether. So to have a A designation is like a really, really big deal. And so this school can do that. So so the guy was saying, you know, with the, the school you have really close to you with the A designation, that'd be a perfect place for your wife to go and show that, um, recycling can be fun and that it can be part and it can be taught through the arts because they have the a designation and i'm going holy moly you know don't even know what these designations mean the school is literally you know down the street from me i could have all this time you know i could have approached the teachers and said, oops, I, that went wrinkled. I could have approached the teachers and said, hey, you know, maybe once a month, you know, we can have them bring in their Kellogg's boxes and everything, and we can make something. We can make, you know, postcards or journals or little presents for their mom or whatever. So that's what I learned today, yesterday. If that's what that designation means, and that's what you can do with that designation. So, like I said, you know, my husband might be the trash queen. I can't the queen. Oh, can hit me for that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that. Find out if you has a designated A school, and that means that they can teach. Anything and everything with a slant from the art. Now, you would think, I mean, I've lived in this town for over 10 years in the same house with the same school down the street. And you would think at some point on the news or something, there would have been a reference that, you know, 
the school was doing this and this because, you know, it's an A school. Maybe they did. And I just thought the A meant they were able to do that because they are a good school. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I didn't pay that much attention, like I say, because I don't have kids. But um, that would have stuck in my head if I had heard that it was because of art. You know, I think it teach things through art. Um, because that's so lacking in the school system anymore. OK, so that's sitting there. I put black paint because... When I pull it up, I want the exposed parts to look, you know, more like this with the black behind it. <sighs> and let's hope, you know, <laughs> let's hope it works the way I thought with the mistakes I've already made. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, the leaves. Oh, my husband told him that. Yeah, my husband says, oh, yeah, she recycles everything from um regular trash you know like things that would go into trash and even leaves off the ground she recycles them too and he's going what <laughs> it's funny you know when you do stuff you really don't think about it but when you talk to people that don't have a clue about what you do or why you do it and what it looks like i can imagine how goofy it sounds you know it probably sounds pretty strange <laughs> but um so I hope he's not all talk like, you know, a lot of people are that are head of departments. You know, they, you know, they pat you on the head and all this. Maybe he just wanted my husband to join so that, you know, because he's a go getter, then this guy has less to do. and My husband can do more for free. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but um, we'll we'll find out enough. Close enough. Okay, we gotta leave this a little bit. Let's put the let's put some drying on it to speed it up a tiny bit. About two years ago, just about three streets from me, um, an old building was converted into a charter school. And, you know, charter schools are always, you know, saying how underfunded they are and they don't have enough money for this, enough money for that. And, you know, they want to do innovative things and they want to do things differently. And again, like I said, my husband's a go-getter. So when he found out that it was opening, um, he gave the um, the director a call and, you know, a chit chat. And then again, he does all this stuff without asking me or telling me what he's doing. But he basically volunteered my services to the school <laughs> to, to teach them, you know, how to recycle and make art out of recyclable stuff, you know. And, um, and she goes, oh, we need this and we need that, you know. And she sounded like she was excited and. Then, you know, it was getting closer to when the school was actually going to open. And um, I think like four or five months had gone by and my husband hadn't heard from her. So he gives her a call and she said, oh, you know, I'm so overloaded. I'm so this and I'm so that, you know, and OK. So he just he dropped it. And then in the middle of the school year, they were at some function or something and she was there. And he asked her about it, you know, and she just kind of blew him off, you know. And I told, I told my husband, I said, you know what? I said, with a lot of people, if it's not their idea, they don't want to do things. You know, if they don't, you know, some people um, don't like other people <laughs> um, telling them, oh, you should do this and you should do that, you know, because, you know, their ego gets in the way. And I think that was the situation with her, you know. Um, because I thought, well, maybe she, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I thought, well, maybe she thinks that, um, 
um, that he was speaking for me or as a woman, she didn't like that he was offering, you know, you know, my services as opposed to me speaking to her directly. I thought, well, maybe, you know, she's, you know, she, that's how she was. So I gave her a call because I was going through all of my stuff and I had some scrapbook paper and different paints that I hadn't used and they were, you know, how they start getting dried out. And I didn't want that to happen to them. And I knew I wouldn't use these certain colors. And so anyway, I called her up and I told her I had all these supplies. Cause again, on their Facebook page, they were crying, boohooing that they don't have supplies. So I called her up and told her what I had. And um, I said, you know, I'd like to, you know, come over and, um, and bring it by. And she made some excuse that she was busy or something like that. So I said, okay, well, just let me know when someone can be there. I'm thinking to myself, it's a school. Somebody's there eight hours a day, <laughs> right? <laughs> Somebody's there eight hours a day. I hope so. And, um, and she never got back to me to get the supplies. So um, I don't know what her issues were. But, you know, that's the kind of thing you come up against. You know, you want to do something, you get excited and you think you can be helpful and, um, you know, you want to share and, you know, share excitement, you know, with someone else. And they just don't want you to. And it's like, OK, so I still have the paper and I still have the paint and the paint's probably just getting harder and harder. <laughs> so, you know, you can't you can't make people accept you know your help um so what do you do what do you do ladies answer my question what do you do <laughs> hi kate <laughs> oh i know i would think you know i would think that people would be like yeah you know because you hear all the time you know, and plus I have two friends in another state that are teachers and they tell me how much money they have to spend out of their pocket that they never get back because of things they want to do with or for their students. And um, and you hear that over and over and over. And you would think somebody wanting to volunteer not just their time, but their resources. That's especially when they're crying on their Facebook page that that's what they need. It's like, okay, whatever. You try not to take it personally, <laughs> but I mean, and I guess you can't, you know, because she doesn't know me personally. Um, we just spoke. So it isn't like she knows me and she doesn't like me. Um, she doesn't know me, but still, you know, if you're not going to accept stuff, then stop boohooing on your Facebook page. I mean, the page is the Facebook page is for the school, and you're lamenting and you're basically begging. Don't do that. You know, you don't know. I could have been a millionaire and I was going to give the school, you know, all kinds of stuff, and you never called me back. Ha! Uh oh. I think I made a mistake by putting the paint. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, maybe I shouldn't have done the paint. I might have to start all over. Oh no, please no. See, that's what I get for talking about people while I'm doing art. I don't know, it's gonna work. It's just over here for some reason it didn't stick. Let's put some sticky stuff over here where it's not sticking. So anyway, that's why I don't intend to get too excited about the Mr. Trash Man thing because he may be just like the director of the charter school. <laughs> All excitement and talk and then nothing. <laughs> so I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> Then I have another situation. There's this guy that I do some bookkeeping for. 
And um, that's what I do, bookkeeping. And so a building next door to his building downtown was for sale and he tried to buy it and he wasn't able to get it. He got outbid by some other guy. And that other guy um, kind of cleaned it up and uh, drew some pictures of what you know he wants to put in there. But that was based on people leasing sections of it um, for various businesses. Well, for whatever reason, he isn't finding the people to lease it. So it's been empty for about a year. So my friend, the one that wanted it initially, he's over there in the corner, you know, the corner over there going, he, 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 you know, <laughs> you got it, but it's empty and you're losing money. And <laughs> what are you going to do? And um, so anyway, so the other day he approached the owner and um, um, I think he approached him. I don't know. But um, he might end up doing something in that, in that, um, in that um, building like he originally wanted to do for himself. And, uh, and he says if he does that, he wants me to put some of my stuff in there. Uh, because what he wants to do, if he, if he's able, he owns real, real expensive automobiles. I mean, like hundred, $200,000 vehicles, vintage classic vehicles. And, um, there's, I guess there's people that want to get those kind of vehicles fixed. Um, they, they take their vehicles long distances because it has to have a special kind of mechanic so it doesn't really matter where you are they will come to you well anyway he has a friend in atlanta who is one of these specialty kind of guys that can fix all these things so he what his original intent was to open it up for that and on one area of this building because it's kind of big he was going to display all of his vehicles in there because this place used to be a um, a car dealership so it has those big windows all over the place so he was going to put his cars all over and then he was going to have um a different artist do different kinds of really kind of funky kind of things and put them you know in there and display on the walls you know behind all these exotic vehicles and then in the other section was going to be a garage where you know big fancy vehicles like that can be uh, fixed and so he says rosemary we still may do that get some stuff going so you can put it on the walls and i'm thinking that's not the kind of stuff I do. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to throw a journal on the wall. <laughs> he's so funny. He just knows I recycle. And so he's seen some stuff I do. But, you know, he still envisions, you know, this big old, a big old something. I don't know what. <laughs> that he can put on the wall. <laughs> and I'm going, ha, huh? I don't know. So, Again, I'm not going to hold my breath. I mean, I know the circumstance is right. You know, he would he would come through, but I don't know what's going to come through for him. <laughs> so I'm not making any recycled art <laughs> for a while. <laughs> but it's funny. You just never know what happens and where it comes from. Okay, I got to see what's going on over here. Oh, let's see. You know, Kate, it's not the only school that I have spoken to. It's so odd. I've just, I mean, honestly, I've given up because there was like, I'm not exaggerating. I think four different um, schools and teachers that either my husband or myself have spoken to. And they really don't want anything to do with it. I just, it was strange. Um, oh, I wish you were around here, Karen. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, the place that I've had success with where, you know, people, you know, want you to come in and, and like it when you come is like rehab or like convalescent homes. They call them different names across the country. But um, the elderly, I mean, you know, so many of them have nobody. I mean, nobody that comes to visit them. And when you find a real, a real reputable place, you know, their heart goes out to them and they'll, they'll take anybody to come in and do something with them, you know, because their, their days are so long and so lonely. And, you know, and when you're depressed, it affects your health. And so when they know that on Wednesday at one o'clock, you know, so-and-so's coming, they get all excited. And even the men, you know, they're all a bunch of little, you know, um, playboys. Uh, <laughs> they get all spruced up, too. And all of a sudden, they want to learn how to do a journal. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so funny. But you're not wasting your time going there. That's for sure. I've done that off and on the past two years. And it's a lot of fun. It's fun and sad at the same time, you know, to tell you the truth. And then there's some people there, you know, that are going to go home. They're just there on one section for rehab. But then they've got the other section where it's the permanent, you know, they're there permanently. And that's the sad, that's the sad part is that section. <laughs> yeah, they do, man. They are like, I don't know. You know, the older I get. And you may you may agree with me. The older I get, I realize that inside, at least for me, I don't I don't age inside. Of course, my body's aging. <laughs> my uh, my ability to do things is aging. But for me, you know, I don't in my mind, I don't I don't feel like I'm older, maybe because, you know, I didn't have children I didn't have grandchildren, so I don't have that identifying um, person standing in front of me a certain age reminding me, well, if you're that age, oh, my gosh, how old am I? You know, so I don't deal with that kind of imagery that um, makes me think of my age. And um, but I really think we stay the same. Um, we just may not be able to act on our thoughts or our impulses, but you know, I don't think we change. So you get a, you get a guy, you know, or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, and just because on the outside, they look like an old person. I think in their mind and their heart, they're still a young person <laughs> and you better look out. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> oh, you should, Amy. It is so rewarding. It really is. I mean, you got to have kind of like a little toughness about you because it can be depressing, too. You know, you know, if if you already have a problem with depression, you know, you need to be ready for that because. um you're going to open up your heart to to the situation. And, you know, there's there's some heartbreak there, you know, because they're sick and they're lonely and, um, you know, a lot of things can happen. So um, that's all I would say. If you can handle that, go for it. It's really a lot of fun. This one place, um, they let us take our dog. All we have to do is show that, which is, now I think this is kind of funny in one way. Um, all we have to do is show that our dog has had its shots. And I guess that means, you know, if it bites them, at least they won't get rabies. I don't know. <laughs> but um, but we have a, a Rottweiler that is just a real pussycat. 
I mean, she just likes to be loved. She doesn't have a harsh bone in her body toward, toward strangers or anything. Um, so at one point we had an elderly friend that was staying there. And, uh, and that's how we got to know about this one place. And we'd go and we visit. And then um, she got to go home. But then we found out that our neighbor had broke a hip and had a replacement. And she was staying there. And she was going to have to be there for about two months. And so we had talked about the dogs before that. And so uh, Richard says, oh, because the, the lady, she really liked our dog. And so I said, why don't we take uh, our Rottweiler? Her name's Kitty. <laughs> I said, why don't we take Kitty with us to go visit Mrs. Bean? And he goes, yeah, let's go. So we took, you know, we just took her papers that she had her, her vaccinations. And there we go. And Kitty, man, she just, she was just so happy. I'd never seen her so happy um, because all these people were loving on her and petting her and all this stuff. And so then when we were walking down the corridor to go visit Mrs. Beam, um, you know, some of the people, you know, they don't get visitors or they're hoping somebody's coming. So they're all looking out from their, from their room into the corridor and they see this dog and their eyes just light up. So Richard had to end up going, my husband, he ended up going into every single room as we were going down to Mrs. Beam's room. And they wanted to know her name and can I touch her? And they're all petting her and they're all lighting up and the nurses are all smiling because, you know, because they're like, they're happy and they're animated. And, uh, and especially because it's a, uh, uh, what's perceived to be, you know, a ferocious, mean animal, you know, Rottweiler has a reputation. And so they really thought it was hot stuff that, they were petting the dog and, you know, giving it a hug and everything. And so then when we finally made our way down to Mrs. Beam's room, um, she goes, Kitty! Boy, Kitty recognized her in two seconds. We hardly could hold that dog on its leash. <laughs> it wanted to go practically jump on her. And we're going, no, she just had hip surgery. Don't let the dog go. <laughs> but that's another thing. If you have a docile pet and your, um, you know, the facility by you allows it, they love it. They just love the animals. So, so if, even if you aren't a crafty person, you might have a pet that would really bring a smile to them. Now, if you had an animal that knew how to craft, that would be perfect. <laughs> that would be perfect scenario. <laughs> okay, how I think this is working out pretty good. Yeah, volunteer work, it's very rewarding. I have a friend in a, a, um, um, in a small town next, next to where I live. And her mother um, has some kind of a stroke. She can't speak anymore. All she can do is kind of grunt like she has no speech at all. Um, but it didn't affect her thinking ability or anything else. Just her speech and a little bit on one of her arms. Uh, but she wasn't in the position. I, I don't know the circumstances why she didn't come to live with why her mom didn't come to live with her might have been you know there wasn't the right room or i can't i can't remember why but anyway she had to go to facility but um she you know she would visit her every single day 
And my friend, she's an artist. She's an artist like Vicky, you know, she, or, you know, does a classical type of artist. And so her mother had never touched a canvas and never touched, you know, anything that had to do with art. But the, the, um, the nurses had said, you know, anything that she can learn is good, whatever it is. Anything that's repetitive would be good for her mind and good for keeping her alert. And it's just good for her over our health. So my friend took all of her um, her um, blank canvases and paint, and she just took the whole thing like she was going off to some art class. And she's a very innovative kind of person. So she went to like a um, a bunch of uh, secondhand places and got wide brimmed hats. All right. She got like around six or seven of them. So she goes off to the retirement place, not retirement, but you know what I mean? Um, rehab place. And she informs um, different ladies that were sitting around in this one, like a rec room. And she had already spoken to the to the place that, you know, and they said, yeah, we'll let you use the rec room and you can set up your canvases and all this stuff. So she started telling the ladies that every Wednesday and every Saturday was going to be Monet Day. And so she was bringing the hat so they could feel like they were sitting outside in a garden. And they, she was going to teach them different classic paintings, Monet paintings. And would you believe how beautiful that artwork that these ladies started making none of them had ever touched a brush or anything but boy you put that hat on <laughs> and i told myself one day i think i need to buy a hat <laughs> and they did beautiful stuff of course you know obviously she must have been a good teacher to be able to get those results out of them but um Two days a week, there she was, and they were all waiting for her. Class grew and grew. I don't know how many it was, you know, eventually. But she had a lot of people in her class. I went there a couple of times with her. It was fun to watch. I had to bring my own hat. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what, I'm not seeing much coming up, but that was real deep purple there, so I'm not going to panic yet. Oh, I do see the lines of the, of the feather a little bit. Yeah, right, Karen? That's why I brought my hat. I thought, oh, maybe with the hat, I can draw those lilies. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. And I learned a lot just listening to her teach them. Because um, she uh, would explain, because they would say, oh, I can't draw that. You know, I can't make it look like that. And she told her, you don't have to make it look like that. When you draw it, when you see it, your mind will see it. It doesn't have to look like that on, on the canvas. And I'm listening to her and I'm going, what is she talking about? But, you know, the more I listened to her and the more I saw what she meant, it made so much sense. Because, you know, you've seen sketches and if you break it down, I mean, some of those things are just sticks, you know, and it's like, but you know what it is because your mind wants to complete the picture. So as long as that's what impressionistic painting is all about, as long as you make the impression of what it is, your mind will finish the story. And so once it clicked in their heads that when the person looked at it, they would finish the painting for them. Oh, well, you couldn't stop them. <laughs> they were going, oh, it doesn't look, oh, that's okay. 
when they see it, they'll finish the picture for me. And it just took away all of their apprehension of not being able to do it right or, you know, not completing, you know, the picture to make it look exactly what it was supposed to be. And, um, and they got it. And it made them happy. Yes, I bet. Did the hat work? Uh, the hat didn't work for me. <laughs> I think I have to be older to let go. <laughs> I was still holding on. I was still holding on. It doesn't look like it. This better work. This is taking all night. I think it's going to have, oh, see, it's going to have the impression. And then our eye will finish it. And I don't even have a hat on. Isn't it cool when things just come together? I just picked it all the way up. Oh, see? Shut up, Rosemary. Did you see? Look, now you can see the black instead of the... Ah. Okay. Put the hat back on. I'm oh, getting a little too excited there. See, this looks real easy on a speed up video. <laughs> I'm showing you reality. <laughs> so you won't get frustrated when it takes you forever. But I do like the colors of the black in the back. It matches more over here. But I can tell right here it's not it's not touching the page. I think I'm gonna have a blank spot. I might have to fill it in with another transfer later. But that's okay. Like I say, we have the technology to do that. We'll just lay in over the gaps. Ooh, pretty, pretty. right here is where I don't think it connected. We'll see soon enough because it feels kind of bouncy right there. 
like it's floating. But anyway, seriously, I would, if you have the time and the right circumstances, and even if you think your art is limited, they would love it. You just go in there and, you know, make a postcard, ATC. Just bring a glue stick and some papers, and they will be so happy. And if you can, bring your puppy with you. Although those small dogs, they're more, they're more biters than the big ones. Did you guys watch the dog show? I didn't get a chance, but I think it'll be on YouTube later. Gentle, gentle. Yeah, right here is where I'm going to have problems. I can tell I didn't make good contact there. Oh boy, almost wasn't stuck there at all. Dry this off a little bit and see what's left that needs to come off.
Okay. What a mess. Try and clean this up a little bit. All right, get rid of all the goobers. So the next part of the plan, <laughs> the plan I don't have, is to connect these now. I need to get me some paint close to this color to bring and connect those little swiggles in here to try and blend it a little bit. To try and give it a little more cohesiveness. And then I need to blend a little bit in here in the black because you don't see that much there anyway. Kind of blend that in a little bit and see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. But for sure, I need to get a little bit of Whoa. Well, my dog is going to get, I forget what you call it. What's that? Um, that oil that comes from the marijuana. What is it called? My dog's getting some. <laughs> My dog is going to get, well, I think all the, the stoning agent has all been removed from it. Yeah, hemp oil. No, it isn't hemp oil. It's something else. They said the hemp oil, um, oh, dear. I didn't get this firsthand. I got this from my husband, so. Something about this comes from the, there is this white stuff on the marijuana plant that's an oil, but they didn't call it the hemp oil. Called it something else. Unless it's one and the same with two different names. I don't know. But um, I think my husband specifically said it wasn't the hemp oil. I could be wrong. Like I said, I got the second hand. So. Um, 
Okay. So we've got this kind of diffused over here. And just for a little bit for now. Still a lot of work to do. But let me get what should I do first? I think before let me I think before I put the yellows I don't know if I want to put the charcoal or if I want to put yeah let's do the charcoal here to highlight because I want it to smudge because this is all smudgy here I got to bring in the black on this side. Jessica, THC, is that what it is? Oh, don't ask me. Hemp oil from Q Sciences is the best. All I know is he had to fill out some papers because, um, one of the nurses here, she's involved with animal rescue. Well, she's got a PhD. She's a teacher now, teaching, teaching nursing. But anyway, she gave him some place to contact. This place in Texas. So that's. That's where we're at right now. The things you got to do just for your dog. My goodness. No buzz, exactly. <laughs> My dog acts like he's buzzed anyway, so he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't need it. Jessica, I saw the picture of your family. They're so handsome. Okay, so we're bringing in the black. talking to <laughs> pain what what you talking to me
Okay, where do these go? I'm lost where these are going. No, this is a Stabilo. This is a charcoal. If I use a Stabilo, I'd have to wet it, and I don't want to get this wet anymore because it's kind of fragile that with the ink down there. So. I'm messing enough with it, rubbing it with this. Okay, so now let me find some of that, some orange of some kind and see if I just totally mess it up <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so here's that color. I need more of a uh, Orange-ish. Orange-ish yellow. Gonna have to mix it up. Then what? All right, so. If I mix these colors, that might work. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Let's try and mix something up, see if it works. If it doesn't, hey, we can just paper over it and start all over again someday. All right, let me get, whoa, what was that? Oh, my paints. Okay, let me get a right size of brush. And... We'll get it done. We'll get it done, ladies. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. So. All right. So let's. Let's do some crazy paint here. See what happens. Mix it up. See if I don't get it all over me again like I did before. Okay. Let me throw this down here. Whoa. Okay.
Ooh, that's the wrong color. Wrong color. Too peachy. They're all too peachy. I need more, more of an orange. Hold on. I was thinking the same thing. I'm going, I'm going, wait a minute. <laughs> this is a lot of work just to do a stupid page. <laughs> oh, dear. That's still the wrong color. Oh, well, who cares? I just don't even care anymore. All right. <laughs> Let's get a bunch of water in there. Let's get this puppy done. <laughs> Uh, Jessica's going, and she can't even sell it. What is she doing? That's right. Can't even sell it. All right. So now, let's see. Where is a white piece of anything? Here we go. Ooh, people, pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? There's a method to my madness. Yeah, that might be it. Okay, so. I think I need to seal that because see it's absorbing and the color is fine up here. And then the color is disappearing down here. Oh no, ladies, I have to seal this, which means we're going to be here another. <laughs> Hold the phones, people. I have to seal that. I didn't want to do that. Now, what am I going to seal it with? Because I put the charcoal on there. And you know what's going to happen. I just ruined the whole thing. Because when I put the sealer on it, all the charcoal is going to activate. I didn't think that much ahead. So, so what am I going to do? You see, when I wet it, look, look what happens to the charcoal. See? So, I know, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm going to have to spray this. Oh, dear. This is getting so involved. I bet you I'm not even going to like it when it's done. Oh. Well, just look at it as an exercise. Okay. I'm going to have to spray it with that. And I'm going to have to do it outside because it stinks. <laughs> and it's almost 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> But it dries super fast, so we'll be able to. 
work on it in two seconds. Hold on. Now yeah, we'll see. Now yeah, we'll see what happens. We're about to page. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to write to do at the end. <laughs> Just it's a learning experience. Come on, people. Haven't you ever had a learning experience? Jeez. Okay. Here we go again. If this doesn't work, rip. <laughs> now all I have to do is cover this up. It's not a loss. It's just a learning experience. You have to look at life that way. Okay, this is pretty good. And ooh, a little bit more yellow. Well, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Maybe. <laughs> I think I need more water. Yeah, so what is up? <laughs> you won't believe what I've been through, what I've put these poor people through.
all because I wanted to put a peacock feather on the back of this girl's head. <laughs> I don't know. I may have to cover it all up tomorrow, this side, after all that. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Okay, let's dry it up, see what happens. You know, everything can't be a winner. It needs more wet, more white. There's no white on it. <laughs> Is that why it needs more white? <laughs> oh, you want something bright. It's supposed to be moony. I'll put something bright on it. Let's see what happens. See, Deb, what I did is I had this, and this is a transfer that I did. And then it was just her. And then I wanted peacock feathers over here, but I wanted to do a transfer, but I didn't have anything that, you know, really worked. So I put a bunch of things together and made a photocopy and then did the transfer on here. And then... Something happened. <laughs> and then something happened. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. People, you want contrast? I'm here to please. I have no idea what we're going to do, what the contrast is going to be. But the people are calling for white. Okay, so the easiest way. And where do you want the white? Where do you want it to go? <laughs> I ruined you and peacocks, right? <laughs> Poor Karen. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, come on, speak up. You want white? Where do you want it? What do you mean it's up to me? You're the one that brought it up. I'll never be able to look at this the same again. That's too dark. Oh, well. Well, you know how they say. It's all in the eye. And I had a vision. And the vision didn't happen. And I'm depending on everyone else to finish the vision in their own head. <laughs> uh, okay. I think that's it shook up enough. Something around the peacock feathers. You want white around the peacock feathers? And then near the face. And this white, is it a line? Is it dots? What is it? What's your vision? <laughs> well, I don't want to go around putting white stuff and then you go, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Come on, 
I'm aiming to please. Okay, let's even see if this thing works. I got to pump it. Oh, it works too much. Oh, good thing I did that here. These pens don't work for me very often. They always come out nothing or too much. But we'll see what happens. Hold on. What a mess. Whoa. I just wanted to make a simple page. And look what happened. Okay. <laughs> After all this, come on, you have to have patience. Okay. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. We got to give it a try. Hey, Janet, you came just in time. We have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, Janet, run. <laughs> Can I go with you? Okay. I don't even know what to do. I'm scared to touch it. I guess I can't ruin it, right? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Come on, guys, you got to give me some help. I don't even know what to do now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're here for the best part where it just all falls apart. Don't worry about it. <laughs> The insides of the feather. Dragging right in here, this part. I hope that's what you mean because that's what's going to happen. I don't know. Is that working for you? I don't know. I think I may, might have to just outline all of the. Let's just outline this crazy feather. So that our eye doesn't have to finish it off. <laughs> At least we know what it's supposed to be. So we know it's supposed to be a feather. Okay. And then we'll go around the seashell so we won't have to guess about that. For those of you that didn't know it was a seashell. <laughs> okay. And then we'll outline this design to bring some emphasis to the design. So our eye will go everywhere.
See, it flows out and then it doesn't flow. Okay. Is it getting there, Jessica? See, Jessica has an eye. She goes, put the white. She was right. Put the white on there. See? I don't care what anybody says. Jessica knows what she's talking about. Let's really get crazy. Let's stick her face out. Let's just get optical here. Woo! <laughs> now you don't even know if she's connected, which is good because it wasn't connecting anyway. <laughs> okay. So let's highlight this edge over here. It ends anyway, so let's just. Let's just make it a focal point. Okay. I think I need to get rid of the brightness of that, which I will do. And that will help that section. This is fading away. Let me put another little coat on here. Alrighty, and let's see. I better read and see what you guys are saying. It might work. Okay. Okay, now I need to, with what? With black? Oh, dear. I think, I'm, well, I can't ruin it. It's ruined already, but <laughs> I just need to practically, like, get rid of that brightness. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, people. Come on, Jessica. You can't shut up now.
Well, all I can say is I've never had a worse time trying to do a page. <laughs> but hey, it's just going to be one of those learning experiences. By the time I get done with it, it's not even going to look like a peacock. So it won't matter. <laughs> okay, so the next thing, how are we going to make it dramatic? How can we make it dramatic? Hold on. I'm not giving up on this page. Let me tell you. I put too much time in it and give up. Oopsie. I think now we need... Now we need, um, now we need some metallic. <laughs> now we need metallic. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up. Okay. So. I might need a brush for this. Hold on. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Depends what I do. All right. I'm going to put some on and wipe off. I'm going to do it the... Uh, the wipe on, the wipe off. It'll still show. I just don't want it um, to look very deliberate. Because we have to bring over the peacock colors, right? Right. Is that looking more peacock people? Maybe yes, maybe no. Oh, we're buffering now. They're back. They're back. Well, that might be my clue to say it's done.
Well, ladies, thank you for <laughs> going through this experiment with me. <laughs> If it gets too bad, I understand. I'll just keep rolling till I get this halfway done. I know it's very irritating to watch those aliens. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I think that's enough for this, right? Oh, maybe a little over here. Night, Deb. There's a big lump there. I don't want that big lump. Oh, it must be getting cool out there. My heater came on. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. What an ordeal. Okay. I think I think that I think that this um this just needs to be super wacky. I got an idea. Hold on. I know I should quit, but, you know, I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work. But we'll try. Let me get I don't know if it'll work with them. Uh, with um with the paint. I'll test ah I'll test it first on something else. And see if it prints. Because I think it looked pretty cool to have that on there. Just my opinion. Okay. Let me try it on the back of this. Hello. Okay. Yay. All right. right here.
Ooh, I like that. Metallic gold, never hurt anybody. There, see it covers up the mistake a little bit. <laughs> What a stinking mess, but I think I kind of like it now. It says something to me. I'm not sure what it says, but it says something. There's too much paint on there. Okay. Holy moly. What a mess. All right, so I think Uh oh. Should put that over there. Okay, I'm done. I've got it dried up. And no matter what it looks like, it's done. <laughs> well, at least this page has a story. I'm not sure if it's a good story. <laughs> it's a story. <laughs> One last thing. I know I said I was done, but I saw something. I got it. I got it. I got it. Just got it. Are the aliens still with us? Okay. Okay, now I'm done. Oh, okay, good. Because they were here at the very beginning. And then maybe about a half hour ago, they showed up again. So I guess we're okay. Well, Jessica, I finished up my little tiny encaustic books. Did you see them? I think they came out so cute. I think they came out cute. I don't think anybody's going to buy them because I had to. <laughs> I mean, even at the price that I put them at, I'm giving them away because um, they took so much time, so much effort. And um, um, yeah, it was it was ridiculous because there's so many stages to them. So um, so I don't think anybody will pay that for them. <laughs> 
but you know i just put an arbitrary price because um you know i mean i have to charge something for them and if nobody buys them then they'll be you know gifts for family or something <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but they were fun making them that I'm, i mean i'm glad i made them because they were fun and um um you know i enjoyed making them so okay people oh ouch this is done i think it's pretty freaky it took three stinking hours <laughs> to, to make and oh i did do this too we did the uh we did the background pages for this. I mean, uh, two out, two layouts here. But um, I liked it, and I didn't want to really do anything to it yet. So I'm just gonna leave that alone because I like just the way it looks. And then we have that, <laughs> and then we have that. <laughs> um, but you came in late, Jessica. This is the reason why you know I kept going along with the. Um, with the um what do you call it ah, with the peacock stuff because everything in here is going to be either peacocks or peacock colors i've got this one done and this and most of the things in here have been given to me through like happy mail or swaps or whatever and so you know if and then in here um somebody had given this to me too in a swap and then I just painted in there and left that like that. And this page came out like this. So I had to cut it and I turned it into a little tag to go in there. And the name of the book was The Pride of the Peacock. But it was this color. So I just put some um, metallic paint on the front just to give it some character. I'm not sure what I'll do with it later. But um, this is my... And I just glued that back here. It was on an envelope from something that somebody sent me. So that's just there for now. But anyway, so this is my peacock journal. And I think I'll be happy with it when I'm when you know when I get away from it and don't have to be looking at it for <laughs> for as long as I've been looking at it. <laughs> and um, so yeah, so at least I've got one, two, three spreads. Well, two spreads done, almost done, and that, uh, and the front, and anyway, so that's that. So I encourage you guys, you know, if you, uh, you know, if you just want to do brain dead, exhausting stuff, <laughs> get yourself a book and alter it with some kind of a theme that you like, whatever that theme is, and um, and go for it. I think it'd be fun. I'm gonna start another one with elephants and then i'm going to do another one asian so i'm going to have like three going at the same time um so i don't get bored with them and i'll let you guys see you know what i come up with um yeah exactly jessica um i think when i come back it'll be okay it's just that it was like ooh. My head was kind of spinning, and I've been working on it too long. When I when I'm not filming, I never finish a page from the beginning to the end. I'll do something, and then I'll go work on something else, and then I'll do something else. But this time, I thought, well, let me finish the page. I don't think I'll do that again. <laughs> I'll go back to the old way of doing um, just parts of the page and then coming back. Maybe if I do this again, I'll have all three of my journals, and I'll just be doing some little portions on each one. And not really finishing any page because my brain doesn't work that way. It gets burnt out and then I don't really see what, what's really going on. All right. All right. Thank you, ladies, for hanging out. Uh, except you know what? what? <laughs> oh, no. Patricia, what? Which, which you know what? There's so many you know what's there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. Okay. Well, again, thank you so much. I'm getting delirious. It's 11:30, and I don't think I've had supper yet. So I think I need to go find something to eat and be ready to play another day. All right. Good night, ladies. Thank you so much for your encouragement and keeping me company. And see you guys later.